To install the 22R or V6 power steering adapter brackets for the OM617, you will be supplied with a bracket and hardware to bolt the bracket to the block. You'll need a 13 millimeter wrench. There will be two bolts up top here, and there will be another two on the bottom there. And I've left a little slack in it so that you can get it adjusted exactly where you need it. And then there will be three more bolts, one there, one there, and one below that you can't see. They'll take a 17 millimeter. You can get to the bottom two with a socket wrench. The top one you'll need to use a close-in wrench and then you can put the power steering to the factory Toyota bracket and the reason we do this is so that we can use the aftermarket high steer steering pumps as well as the 22R and 3VZE power steering pumps. You'll also notice that there's a bracket on the back side and that is to hold your dipstick and your glow plug wiring harness stable up against the bracket and then last but not least you'll have two weld nuts on there and you can utilize the factory hardware from the fuel filter head and tighten that down onto your bracket simple enough right and in this specific scenario we have a trail gear high steer high flow high pressure steering pump installed so we've already determined the correct belt combination we need for the factory 22R power steering system but with this aftermarket pump and pulley things have changed a little bit and unfortunately they don't make the exact combination of belt sizes that we need so to amend this we're going to be using NAPA belt numbers 25-7385 which is a 39 and an eighth inch long belt and 25-7630 which is it's going to be 63 and 5 eighths inch long so the way we have this set up now is the smaller belts actually a little bit tighter um, so that if you would only have your longer belt installed over the power steering pump and you would tension the alternator tensioner your power steering belt would still be a little slack and the reason for that is because we're going to be installing the tensioner from your 22R so to do that I've formed a little bracket it installs by bolting onto the engine block and to this little hole down here and I'll get you a close up of that there you can see how it bolts onto the engine block the other modification you're going to have to make is cut the top stud off of your trail gear bracket and then we're just going to install like so and bolt it on at the top and bottom. Once all three nuts and bolts are tightened this bracket's going to be pretty rigid. The only other thing you could do if you wanted to would be to go in and actually weld the tensioner plate to the trail gear bracket for a little bit more rigidity but if you're going to ever be removing it just make sure that you leave yourself enough room to uh, get in there to cut your weld off. It's pretty easy to get in there to weld on two different sides though. So now we'll tighten this up and then we'll install our belt. And by having this additional tensioner in here, now once we go ahead and install our belt, and we tension the alternator until the smaller belt's tight, then we can take any additional slack out 
with this second tensioner. And in doing so, if you ever have one belt wear out or stretch out quicker than the other, you can use this tensioner to compensate for that um, inequality in belt tension. This can also be applied to the factory 22R power steering pump setup.